Uh, currently, the nation offers a $4,500 burial assistance um, uh, program, and that uh, if a citizen uh, passes away, then their family is able to apply for this service, and it's uh, $4,500. Absolutely. Um, as you know that, uh, well, even before the pandemic, even before um, the inflation cost that we've seen, um, this is something that has been going on for a while now, even when I was on council, that we have seen that, uh, you know, it was $3,500 and um, I believe that uh, uh, we increased it to $4,500 maybe two years ago, I think. Um, uh, but even that, it wasn't enough. Um, even four years ago, it wasn't enough. Um, we've seen uh, a lot of the average cost of funerals rise from uh, $5,500, you could have a funeral. Um, you can have a $4,500 a $4, funeral, but um, what po most people are used to um, probably range anywhere from seven to eight to even to high as nine as far as what maybe people consider a average funeral. And so uh, we have definitely seen that need um, that people need some type of help uh, covering the extra cost of those of those funerals, and so with this uh, with this program that uh, we want to uh, um, uh, uh, make available for the citizens, um, uh, this will help uh, cover those extra costs. And the money won't go directly to the uh, funeral home like the, uh, the the funeral program does. This money actually goes directly to the citizen. Uh, currently, I think the nation has um, additional insurance through ju or just for employees only. Um, but as far as I know, we don't have this option for uh, all of our citizens. And that's what this option is. It's an opportunity for all of our citizens. If you're a, a citizen of the Muscogee Creek Nation, you'll, uh, you'll be eligible um, to, uh, to, um, to have this uh, extra insurance, this coverage, um, and where you can um, I actually have that just kind of a safeguard knowing that um, if a loved one passes away then you'll be covered um, for those for those costs. And if any citizen wants to know more about this program um, it'll be available on our camp house portal um, and obviously we'll have more um, more stuff out the more information out there uh, through uh, our, our websites uh, we'll have uh, more information on our social media sites um, but uh, I just want people to, to understand that really this is a offering that we've been working on for uh, for a number of years now and um, it's, it's a program that that citizens can um, uh, be a part of um, it's something that uh, that that we feel that uh, uh, citizens can um, uh, look into, uh, make the best decision on behalf of their families, and uh, and what they feel uh, is necessary. And it's something that you know uh, that we feel that's just an offering that we can provide um, for our citizens to be uh, make sure that um, when those uh, times come, and uh, and we all we're all going to experience something like this, that they had the opportunity to uh, to uh, purchase that extra insurance and so that they're covered and their loved ones are covered. Yeah, and I think the, the, one of the other aspects of this program is that um, this just isn't just for uh, death insurance. It, it's, there's also other aspects of this program that you can apply for, whether it be um, you have a, a critical accident, um, maybe you, you can't work anymore, um, you know, there, there's other ways that, there's other things you can purchase and, and it's really, it's just, and that's the beauty of it, it's up to the citizen, um, what they feel that they might need and what they can afford. And, and, and all this is to be affordable, it's at a, compare, a competitive price um, and it's just uh, based on uh, the citizen's needs. Um, we're not trying to, um, you know, uh, make the citizen buy anything, it's just an option that they have if they feel that they need this type of extra insurance.